I thought I'd see who could You go home go where you belong. Where you belong. Go home. back to where you belong. I can breathe a sigh of relief knowing that he's not allowed to be on our street. Call the police. And hey, you get Chrissy, call the police. Relief for a Montreal mother who on August 11th was accosted by a man right here in front of her LaSalle home. Her eight-year-old daughter was with her when the man told them in French, go back to where you came from, India or Pakistan. The incident was caught on video and Montreal police say they arrested the man on Thursday morning after an investigation by the hate crimes and incidents module. It all started when Nadisha was backing out of her driveway and let the man pass. He took issue with her and began insulting her and her husband, saying to speak French in Quebec or leave. Regardless that I spoke in French with the man, all he could see was the color of our skin. Since the incident, a number of neighbors have seen him uh, still walking our street and around our street. That's why we were afraid to, you know, leave the house freely. Investigators said to Nadisha that the man was arrested but released on a promise to appear in court. She got a restraining order on him so he wouldn't be able to walk on our street as well as three streets away from us. So there's a, about a block radius that he's not allowed to walk. And if we do see him on our street, we are allowed to call 911 and um, press charges. We're hoping that this would be an encouragement for other people to, to that uh, are victimized by this kind of racial hatred to record the incident and immediately report it to, to the SPVM. Authorities also say the man is involved in a separate incident of an alleged assault intimidating a Montreal journalist who was covering the story last month. The case has now been submitted to the Director of Criminal and Penal Prosecutions just after Prime Minister Justin Trudeau urged all police forces to take harassment against journalists seriously. Now I feel safe to actually leave the house and leave the house with the girls without looking both ways before we come outside because we're always looking, you know, over our shoulder to see if he's there because if he is there, what is he going to do if he does do anything? So yeah, it was a, it was a small victory, I, I would say. But Nadisha's daughter, who was present, is worried this isn't over yet. The younger one did say it's good, however, he could still come out and find his way back to us and assault us again. Get out of here. Get out. You get out of here. In Montreal, Alicia Rubertucci, City News.